Hey guys, it's Miss Brandy from the Hillview Branch Library of the Bully County Public Library System. And today we're going to make our own hot chocolate bombs. I know! I just said hot chocolate bombs. I'm super excited about this. I will warn you, it is not quite as simple as the internet makes it look. For some of you all who are used to melting chocolate, you all will have this no problem. For others of you like me, who like you go into the kitchen and stuff starts exploding, if I can do it, you can do this. I have faith. So I'm going to give you all a couple different ways you can do it. You can do it in a crock pot. This is the method that worked best for me. And yes, I tried several different methods. I just melted it on low. And you just want it to be that creamy, smooth consistency. So I just melted that on low in there. Or you can do it in a microwave, microwave safe dish. You can do it on power level 50. Every minute, you're going to take it out. Stir it, see if it's the right consistency. If not, put it back in for another 30 seconds to a minute on the same power level of 50 and continue doing that until it's all nice and melted. Another option is you can do it on a double boiler on your stove and just melt it that way. Do a little bit of chocolate at a time though. Mix more in as you go. So those are our different options. If you all know any tricks, please feel free to put them in the comments because I struggled with this one. But we came out with our hot chocolate bombs, and that is what matters in the end. It may not be pretty, but we are all drinking hot chocolate, right guys? Okay, let's jump in. Okay, so again, the hardest part is just figuring out what way you want to melt your chocolate. Once your chocolate is melted, you are set, and you really can pull this off. The hardest part, melting chocolate. So, what type of chocolate do you want? You can do the candy melts, just make sure it's baking chocolate, or you can just do chocolate chips. Next, you pick out your favorite hot cocoa mix. Mine is raspberry. Marshmallows are optional, unless you're me and they're really not. And then a silicone mode. I couldn't get my hands on one of the spear ones, so I just went and got an ice cube tray. And it's going to work just the same. Just make sure that it's the silicone so you can push the chocolate out after you're done. So you're going to take your chocolate once it's melted. Nice and melted, see? And then you're going to just make sure... You put thick layers all over the side. You want those walls nice and thick because when you're going to push it out later, you want to make sure that it's not going to crack and break and shatter on you. So you can use a spoon. You can use the paintbrush. I saw people using the paintbrush method. You're going to see that I stopped this a little bit before it's done. And I just go over to the craft stick because the paintbrush method isn't working for me. But do whatever works best for you. You can use a knife. And what you can do here, too, is I decided that I don't want to have to put two of these together. So you'll see my cutting board. I just put a piece of parchment paper down and then put a nice thick layer of chocolate across that as well. And that'll make a nice flat top to go onto our hot chocolate bomb. That way we aren't having to put two of those together because that would be a lot of chocolate. But it's completely up to you how you want to do it. I would recommend when you're buying these in the store though, that you just make sure that this is going to fit into a coffee cup. So grab your mode, find a coffee cup in the store, make sure it's going to fit. You can also see the smaller modes there. I'm going to fill those up too with extra chocolate, just something extra to add. Okay, now what's this nice and cool? And we need it really, really cold because we don't want it to melt anymore because we need to pop these out. So you can see I've popped two out and all you do is just put a little bit of pressure. Take your time, go nice and slow. Some of them will crack. You can see that I did four, which I did mine all right there together, which was a big mistake. That's why I recommend you in every other one. I had one a little cracked, one unusable, and two that came out pretty perfect. So you're just going to pop it out and then we need that top to be a smooth surface that way we can add the top of our chocolate onto it and adhes those together with more chocolate and you can see I already did the chocolate stars as well those were a lot easier to get out so you can do this I'm just using very hot water and a knife again this might not be the greatest for little kids to do but if you do have little kids do this with you, there's going to be a lot of adult supervision. But you're just going to make this a very smooth surface. I also saw somebody use their hot water kettle and turn it to the highest setting. Then they poured it on a plate and just kind of swirled the chocolate around on it. That's a much safer option 
especially if you're going to do it with kids. But again, be careful because you're going to be using very hot water. Okay, this is the thick layer of chocolate that we cooled as well to make the top and it's just the cutting board. I put down some parchment paper and a thick layer of chocolate and you're just going to cut a square top for it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can use other chocolate to decorate around it with whatever works for you. You can use the same color. I would suggest the same color in case you have an issue. Make sure it fits. That's what I just did there. It didn't look like it would so I'm cutting it down a little bit and oh no I've had my chocolate out for a minute. And it's under the light so it got too warm. That's okay. We're going to be able to piece it back together. So make sure you have some chocolate melting because you are going to need it to be able to glue the top on. But while we're doing that, grab your hot chocolate mix and you're going to put it in your cup. This one's cherry. I'm going to give it away to a friend. And you're just going to pour your hot chocolate in here. Make sure you leave room for your marshmallows. I got some dehydrated ones because I felt like, ooh, pretty colors, and I could fit more. And you know you need more marshmallows. It's just a cool surprise to be like, oh, hey, it's a hot chocolate bomb. And what? Look at those cool marshmallows. So I'm going to put several marshmallows in because I like marshmallows. And then you know what? I got a little bit of extra room. Some more hot chocolate mix. Okay, so we are going to now glue on the top scary scary i'm using green to kind of show you all what i'm doing and you can see that it's a little overdone you know what that's okay too because we're just trying to get the top of it glued on so it doesn't have to look perfect i would recommend using the same color though because you're not going to see if you do have those messes like i'm going to have i just wanted you all to kind of be able to see what i'm doing though so i wanted to use the different colors so i'm just covering all the sides and we're basically just gonna melt this on. It's kind of like glue. Our hot chocolate, melty chocolate. So just put it on. You're gonna grab your other little piece to kind of fix the sides, same thing. Cover all the sides. And just stick it on once you've got it good and covered. And again, this is hot chocolate, so be careful. Do not burn yourselves. And you're just going to put it on. I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to grab one more piece and just keep piecing it together. Again, if it's the same color, you're really not going to notice that much. Especially if you're giving it to somebody because guess what? We're going to be excited to be having hot chocolate and not pay attention to what it looks like. So, one color, you're not going to see all this. You're just going to be happy to have hot chocolate. Okay, that is your hot chocolate bomb. You can decorate it if you want to. Use different colors of the chocolate do drizzles, whatever you want to. So put it in a glass, put warm milk or warm water over it, and you have your hot chocolate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Bye, guys.